we've been talking about what African American women are attracted to when it comes to black men. And such discussions have led to many debates and inquiries and theories. I've heard Ron Wills call select versus non-select, which is cliche now in this part of YouTube. We've talked to many different people. And what we've come out with is the taller, more muscular, and more lighter that you are, or darker, the more chances that you will have with black women, okay? That's been the consensus. It is based on looks. Looks are the most important thing, which I think there is a great deal of credibility within this statement because hardly do you find attractive black women who are, let's say, in shape or something like that or have a nice shape and we were talking about black beauty standards with unattractive black men. You will find it more often in the white race. Um, in particular, if you come to Europe, you'll definitely find that. You will see that within Latinos, Latino people, Asians, you will see that, but you hardly see it in African-Americans. Unless there are certain circumstances that mitigate this, which which would be number one. This is a superstar or a rapper or athlete. OK, this is how we can uh, excuse this. Right. This is this is something that can that can that can diminish, you know, uh, mitigate or lessen the effect of a black woman dealing with in her in, in, at least from her point of view. She wouldn't typically deal with this, but this is a mitigating circumstance that she could deal with this guy. He has money because he's a superstar or he has some kind of credibility in the street. You know, that's how she can accept. She typically wouldn't do it, but I, I, she'll reduce the cost of doing business with this guy for, for that reason. The second reason is if he's unattractive, um, is if he's popular, okay? Now, let me say the third If the brother has what is known as Negro juice or nigga juice, it, in this case, we can do it. Now, Negro juice is what a brother has in his personality, in his characteristics. He is funny, he is hyper masculine, or he could be all or just one or few, it could be combinations of it. He has this great um, black personality. He sounds black. He talks black. It, 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 these are characteristics that sisters like, and he's um, entertaining. If you are a brother who fits all the athletics, six foot three, six foot four, built. But you do not have Negro juice. You will not get anywhere with black women. Just like the black community, you cannot be an academic. And not talk liberalism, racism. The white man is holding blacks back and be accepted. You must speak on those points as an academic, you must come down to the level of nigga juice. And see, for brothers who lack that personality that can be identified with stereotypical African-American male acting traits, it's over for you. And I found out that while looks are the most important, nigga juice is the 
most important. See, I thought it was looks, but nigga juice is what is important. What, what am I saying here? Again, I talked about black men being in the box. But if you are really serious about impressing sisters, long term, your looks ain't going to cut it. <laughs> Negro juice is what delivers. Now, I'm sad to say that. Okay. Now, obviously, you will have some sisters that will say that's not true. And then if they do say that, how old are they? And I'm going to talk about this. The sisters who have no Negro juice want it the most. I'm talking about sisters who come from the Harvard, the Yales, the suburban communities. You see, they have a big pressure on them to also be black. And being black is acting black. Or if you don't act black, you must assimilate to the thoughts that hold blacks back. There's a certain level of guilt success that you must have. There are certain lev levels of liberalism you must talk about. And see, the sisters who have not grown up with that experience are looking to attach themselves to it, which is why you see black women who grew up in the suburbs get with guys who are thugs trying to fit in. And you would think that the sisters that come up in these upper middle class communities, when they find a brother that's like that, they would, they would, they would, they would, they would click up. I would say quite the opposite. See, the more educated and the more set apart they are from the black community, the more nigga juice they want. This is why you see gang members and whatever get with black women that's doing well all the time. They're attracted to it. And where does that leave brothers? Where does that leave the Nigerian immigrant who would like to date a lot of Nigerian women and also, they have failed under the nigga juice spell. The Caribbean community. Well, we can, I can tell you exactly where it leads into. To white women. The guys who date out the races the most are black immigrants from other places. Now, their women are dating black men. The black men that their fathers tell them not to date. <laughs> so, this is where we at. You cannot make it in black America without nigga juice, okay? So, guys, let me know what you think. Hit the bell, subscribe. All my contact information is the first comment pinned to the top. As you know, the buffoonery remains an all-time high. I'm out.